Hey, Next Attendees, I'm Justin Wilcox. I'm the founder of Nimbus Health, a software company where we help hospitals automate medical record processing. Now, that's what I do for work, but what I do for fun is actually Customer Dev Labs. It's a blog where I and other founders take our customer development experiences and we write them up and share them so that other people don't fall into the same traps that we did getting started. So, if you like what we talk about today, definitely go check out the blog. Speaking of which, what we're talking about today is four customer discovery hacks. These are the four things that I found hardest to get started with customer development. All right, so we're doing awesome. We figured out who to interview, how to find them, what to ask them, and now we're stuck with analyzing the results. Because, you know, we've done probably tens, dozens of interviews. What do we do with all the results that we have? So the trick is the entrepreneur's secret weapon, the post-it note. All right, here you can see notes from my latest set of customer interviews. Some friends of mine asked me to run a workshop on pricing a product. So I wanted to figure out what were the hardest parts about pricing a product. And here you can see my notes. So you can see I've, I've written down a lot of notes from the different customer interviews, and then I've bolded the things that were most interesting to me. Then all I did was take post-it notes, in this case, electronic post-it notes, and I, put, I made a post-it note for each bolded item. So you can see what that looks like here. So you can see that one of my customers didn't have a clue what to pri how to price their product. Their price ended up being heavily influenced by their competition. Um, they did price themselves uh, higher than the competition because they wanted to look like a, um, a higher-end item. Anyway, so you can see all of the interview takeaways from one particular interview are in pink. Then what I did is I did the same thing for a second interview, this time in blue. So you can see here I've got some blue mixed in with the pink. And I'm also starting to group similar concepts together. Now eventually, I do uh, one different colored post-it note for all the different interviews, and it looks a little something like this. A big, giant mess. You know, as I'm doing, I'm trying to group similar concepts, right? They've done interviews, but they were not overly concerned with price, the customers, and interviews, would you pay for this? These are two different customers. You can tell because they're two different colored post-it notes. All right, next step was starting to group them and then weed out the things that only had were only mentioned by one customer. So you can see everything here has been mentioned by multiple customers that they started testing at $25, which was the low price, and that failed. This other customer also said low pricing was a disaster. So the two customers said that. Over here in the top left, you can see four different customers said they didn't have a clue how to price, that it was unscientific. So you can see this is a very salient topic. All right, now that I've grouped them all, it's time to start uh, prioritizing them. So you can see that Items over here on the left-hand side, they've been mentioned by four customers each. So things like uh, their pricing wasn't based on value, but it was based on the competition or based on um, uh, their margins. And things over here are mentioned by three customers, etc. So now I've been able to take all of these different notes and assemble them and group them and tell visually which components are, um, which things are the hardest for our customers to deal with. And when we're all, all is said and done, I can produce a report that looks something like this. Just take little screenshots and say, you know what, my customers have no clue how to price. Here's the evidence. I got four different customers that say that. I also know that optimal pricing isn't their highest priority. All f I have four customers say losing and or not getting customers is their um, number one concern. So this is really fantastic to know. So anyway, you can now take this report and you can give it to other team members, investors, to actually demonstrate that you have done the due diligence of interviewing your customers to figure out what their real problems are. So all this information is documented up on customerdevlabs.com. Go check it out. I'm Justin Wilcox. Let me know what you learned.